So in the teeth whitening or bleaching process, specifically when using a peroxide based whitener like hydrogen peroxide, using this on the teeth involves a few steps, which we're going to talk about today. We're going to discuss it in a bit of scientific detail so you know exactly how peroxide whitens your teeth. So the first step is the penetration of the hydrogen peroxide. So hydrogen peroxide is a small molecule which easily penetrates the enamel and the dentin of your teeth, which are the outer and inner layers of the teeth. So this is important because the stains can be both superficial, so they're on the outside surface of your teeth, but they can also be intrinsic or internal, so they could be deeper within the tooth structure. So after penetration, the hydrogen peroxide undergoes a process called decomposition. So once it's applied to the teeth and it penetrates, it breaks down into water and oxygen radicals. So the decomposition of this hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen radicals can be accelerated by heat, light or chemical activators. This is why you commonly see people using like a UV light when whitening your teeth. You may have seen that before. The purpose is to increase the rate of the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, next, we have the formation of something called reactive oxygen species. So the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide generates a highly reactive oxygen species, and we can abbreviate that to ROS. And this also includes hydroxyl radicals and per hydroxyl anions. This sounds complicated, but you just need to know that these radicals or these components are very strong oxidizing agents. Imagine that they're very good at breaking chemical structures down, specifically stains. So the next stage is a stage called oxidation. So this is where the molecules of stain, which we can call chromophores, these are, these are specifically attacked by the reactive oxygen species. So they attack them by kind of breaking down their chemical structure. So if you imagine the chemical structure of these stains, these chromophores, have these double bonds which are kind of joining them together, what the reactive oxygen species do is they kind of break down these bonds. Now the chromophores naturally kind of absorb visible light and that's what gives the stain a particular color and that's why your teeth get stained. Whereas once you've broken down these chromophores, these staining molecules, we've got the reactive oxygen species disrupting these bonds and breaking them into smaller kind of molecules which don't absorb as much visible light. So this chemical kind of alteration basically makes the stained molecules colorless. So as you've got these big, large colored stain molecules which are getting broken down, the teeth start to get whiter. And this process occurs not only on the external stains, but in some of the intrinsic and deeper stains. It's not going to be super effective on the intrinsic stain because some of them can be quite deep and deeply ingrained into the dentin or the internal surface of your teeth. But it's very effective at the external extrinsic stains which are on the outer surface of your teeth. Now bear in mind you do have to be careful and you have to control the amount and concentration of peroxide that you're using. Enamel generally doesn't react as much compared to how the stains react so it's safe in that sense, but if you're overusing the peroxide or if you're using very high concentrations, enamel and the dentin can get damaged. So it's, it's important to undergo professional supervision if you are whitening your teeth and limit the concentrations of peroxide. And bear in mind that hydrogen peroxide, it can cause temporary tooth sensitivity because once the dentin is penetrated by the hydrogen peroxide, it could affect the nerve endings slightly, so that's why sensitivity occurs. Often fluoride treatments and sensitive toothpastes and remineralizing agents can help with the sensitivity you get from teeth whitening. Alright, so I hope that's explained the teeth whitening process in a bit more detail, but if you have any questions about this whole process, leave a comment in the comment section below, and thank you very much for watching.